Why do customers choose our techno? I, think, I feel like we're very reliable, very responsive, um, very ethical in our discussions with our customers. Uh, our, our team can, uh, you know, we, we have a very broad team that can interact with the customer from, from the CEO level down. They're, they're, we're, we're all technical people, we all know the customer's needs and, and really try and be responsive. And, you know, whether it be answering a question or providing a quote or, uh, or solving a problem. What are the technology differentiators that Altecna offers their customers? But we have we have all three of the main coding uh, technologies at our disposal. So we have E-beam, we have magnetron sputtering, we have IBS coding. So what we can do is apply the right tool to the customer's needs. As well, we've developed a, a very strong supply chain because we, we, we do, do the coatings with, with the substrate suppliers, with the glass manufacturers. And as well, um, customer driven, uh, we've really brought up our module capabilities. So meeting our customer at their point of need and, and not just providing the coatings or the optic, but perhaps you know, a, a module that, that, you know, that we can then ship to the customer. Full turnkey, fully tested, metrology is very strong. And uh, you know, again, uh, move, moving up the food chain for our customer, uh, at our customer's request. Can you tell us about the culture at Altecna and how that culture can benefit the photonics community? We believe in, uh, in changing the, the culture before we change the strategy. So uh, Altecna is, is technically a 27-year-old company, but we like to think we're, we're more of a five-year-old company because we really, we really change the, the culture of our organization and thus the strategy. Uh, five years ago, we had a, a new leadership team join, our ownership change, and it's really about, uh, five years ago, for instance, we were, we were servicing a thousand customers at half the annual turnover. Now our goal is to solve the customer's problems and focus on our top 30 or so customers. And, and our business has grown substantially. We've doubled the size of the company, lowered the number of customers by an order of magnitude. So that's really the culture. So solving, solving our top customers' problems uh, and, and, being, and being their supplier of choice. Are there any exciting developments for 2023? We, we made the decision uh, two years ago to really invest in the company at, at a pretty high rate. So we invested in 2022, we've invested half of our revenue from 2021 back into the company. So we've moved two factories under one roof, state-of-the-art facility. We've got three new coding chambers. One has come online now. Uh, we just moved in in November to the new facility. New clean rooms, we've got another chamber arriving, a Helios uh, Magnetron machine arriving in April, and then another uh, Bueller EB machine um, mid-summer. We've, we've expanded our clean rooms to do, to do enhanced module capabilities, inline uh, ultrasonic cleaning, so brand new factory. And, and our capacity, that's the beautiful thing for 2023, our capacities are, are up by, by double. So that's, I think that's exciting in this, in this current climate where so many of my colleagues around this hall are talking about being you know, overloaded, they can't handle the business they have, lead times are extending, not satisfying the customers. We actually have capacity to offer in 2023. So actually you know, offering our customers you know, aggressive, aggressive lead times, new technology. Um, so that, that's quite exciting. We've actually established uh, an entity in the US now. So we actually have you know, I'm part of that entity, so really trying to do more with our customers here. The U.S. is our fastest growing market. We've doubled our business in the U.S. from, uh, from 2021 to 2022, and we expect to do that again this year. So there is definitely a need in the U.S. for, for good optics companies that want to serve their customers, and um, you know, I, I expect we'll be part of that.